Work it out, Dutch. You always do. Good morning, Arthur. Any problems? Not any new ones. Hey. Morning, Arthur. Hope you're behaving yourself. No, of course I am. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. How's it going? Okay, considering. Glad to hear it. Morning to you. Morning, Arthur. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. Careful out here. Hey, Mr. Fancy Pants from Mexico. Oh, don't start. Good morning, Arthur. Morning. Mood seems pretty good around here. It does. Arthur! We need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. You're meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. <clears throat> Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. Let's move out. Yep. <laughs> You're a good boy. Yeah. So, tell me again about this big can't-go-wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. 
Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now oh, I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Move out of the way, will you? Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. It takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch? already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, there's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Hosea, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. Another bank, Miss Jones. Been a while. Hey, Arthur. Remember that bank in Tucson? All them years ago? You, me, and Javier? <laughs> of course. How can I forget? <laughs> the nun. How shout not steal a habit from the local convent. Whose idea was that? I forget. I just know the guards were searching everyone on the way in for guns. Except for sweet sister Karen. Two shotguns and a pistol you had under your skirt. <laughs> I'm surprised you could even walk. That was a good take, too, if I remember right. It was. And apart from that one feather you shot in the knee, nobody got hurt. If only they all went like that. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured... They all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, Kip. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that? Then you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Can't believe. You got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. You folks around here actually do any work? Hope that wasn't directed toward me, friend. Why don't you get out of here?
Look at you, long streak of piss. He's got the curse in him. Good morning. Howdy. You should stay away from me. I think I have. Okay. Let me take Let's a look at the you horses tough, here off the main drag. What are you talking about? All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. Get out of my shot! So I wouldn't run your mouth. We never decided. You. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunk and harlot? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, Have you seen uh, him? I, I really think you should leave, madam. Till I find him, Bio. Your sex, madam. So are you. Sounds like you don't know me. Oh. Are we doing this, Morgan? Not so goddamn stuck up high Okay, now. we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gone real damn. Get your goddamn right. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked. We're good. Oh, oh you think oh, we're here? No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, Open oh. that goddamn vault. Oh, oh. Open it. Oh, oh. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay. Okay. Just open the goddamn door. Too goddamn uh, slow! Uh, uh, Strong, uh, bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Uh, 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 oh, okay. himself in here. Uh, Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now, you shut the hell up and be still! I'll go check the front. Hey, keep still. Use his lip. You gotta leave, move again, you get a bullet.
are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. We need to get out of here. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit, hurry up! I heard, go on. We got the place surrounded! Assuming folk ain't getting there, you won't swing! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know, give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead! I'll go. Follow me. What are you, insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake! Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Yeah. You okay, boy? Okay there, boy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Just fine. Come on, say, y'all. 
All this adventure and wandering over mountain paths and being chased and running for our lives. Uh, only agrees with you. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know, I'd think he's the same age as them silly girls. Oh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Well, if I was five years younger, or oh, a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. <laughs> And that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under that sour vinegar oh, face. Boy. Nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a rose of thorns. <laughs> You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake.